6x squared minus 13x minus 5 is a quadratic expression. Quadratics are expressions where the highest power on the variable is 2. Not all quadratics factor, but this one does. It factors to 3x plus 1 times 2x minus 5. Let's talk about how to get to this factorization using a method called the tic-tac-toe method. Before we begin the factoring, I want to mention that it is common to call the coefficients of the terms in a quadratic a, b, and c. Here, a equals 6, b is negative 13, and c is negative 5. a is always the coefficient on x squared, b is the coefficient on x, and c is the constant. Be sure to bring along the signs which, with each of these values. The value of b is not 13, it's negative 13. The value of c is not 5, it's negative 5. All right, on to the factoring. When factoring a quadratic using the tic-tac-toe method, first, make a tic-tac-toe board. And in the first row, we're going to write the value of a, 6, the value of c, negative 5, and then multiply them together. 6 times negative 5 is negative 30. Next, I'm going to put a box beside the tic-tac-toe board, and in that box is going to be the value of b, negative 13 in this case. Now we are going to fill in the remaining boxes in the last column of the tic-tac-toe board. These two values these two values will have a product of negative 30 and a sum of negative 13. Again, the two numbers that I put in the remaining boxes of the last column will have to multiply together to be negative 30 and add up to be negative 13. We'll find these numbers by thinking about all of the factors of negative 30 until we come up with a combination that also adds up to negative 13. If no such combination exists, which will happen sometimes, that means the quadratic that you started with is not factorable. But that's not the case here. The quadratic that we started with, 6x squared minus 13x minus 5, is factorable. And so our next step is to fill in this last column. Let's think about the factors of negative 30. Since 30 is negative, of the two factors of negative 30, one will have to be positive and one will have to be negative. The first pair of factors of 30 are 1 and 30. If I make the 1 negative and the 30 positive, negative 1 times 30 is negative 30, but those two numbers do not add up to negative 13. They would add up to 29. And if I reversed the sign, negative 30 times positive 1 is still negative 30, but those add up to negative 29, not what I'm looking for. The next pair of factors of 30 are 2 and 15. If I considered negative 2 times positive 15, negative 2 times 15 is negative 30, but negative 2 plus 15 is 13, positive 13. Not exactly what I'm looking for, but close. In fact, if I change those two numbers to become negative 15 and positive 2, they have a product of negative 30, and they also add up to negative 13. These are the two numbers that I'm looking for. Negative 15 times positive 2 is negative 30, and negative 15 plus 2 is negative 13. These are the only two numbers in the world that have that property. I'm almost done. Completing the tic-tac-toe board requires numbers in the last four boxes that multiply across to be 2 and negative 15, and multiply up to be positive 6 and negative 5. Again, only one such combination of numbers work that meets all of those properties. I'll start out by filling in the second row. What two numbers multiply together to be positive 2? Well, 2 only has one pair of factors, 1 and 2. I'm going to have to write 2 first and 1 second because if I would write the 2 in the second box, there's no other integer that I could multiply by 2 that would make negative 5. So the 2 has to go first. 
and the one has to go second. In the bottom row, the two numbers that multiply together to be negative 15 could be 1 and 15 or 3 and 5. But remember, whatever numbers I put in this bottom row also have to meet the requirement that they multiply up to be 6 and negative 5. 3 and 5 are the numbers that will work here. If I put a 3 first and a 5 second, 3 times 2 multiplies up to be 6, and 3 times 5 almost makes negative 15. 3 times 5 is positive 15. If I would put a negative sign on this 5, then 3 times negative 5 equals negative 15. Additionally, multiplying up, negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. I know that these four numbers that I just wrote down, 2, 1, 3, and negative 5, are the correct completion of my tic-tac-toe board because multiplying across 2 times 1 is 2, 3 times negative 5 is negative 15, and multiplying up 3 times 2 is 6, and negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. All four of those have to be true for these to be the right numbers, and in this case they are. Now that I've completed the tic-tac-toe board, I have to grab the correct answer out from these numbers. The correct answer to the factorization comes from the diagonals. The first diagonal, 2 and negative 5, represent the coefficients in the first factor, 2x minus 5. 2 is the, factor, is the coefficient on x, and negative 5 is the constant of the first factor. The second factor comes from the other diagonal, 3 and 1. The coefficient on the x is 3, and the constant is 1, positive 1. This is the factorization of 6x squared minus 13x minus 5 using the tic-tac-toe method.